What's going on guys, it's Pinterest on 935 here, and we'll go back to another video. So today's video, we got a, a, uh, a, another car, a barn find. We got this legendary barn find, 1969 Slim, fast, Slim Spectre Fastback. And as you can see, it's really dirty, really dirty. And it looks like it needs some attention, needs attention. Because, um, she's been through a lot. So, so we were back at the shop. So we get it all fixed up. So like the day she came from sick from the factory. So this car is finally based on the 1969 Ford Mustang Fastback, and um, and it's a, and it's a gorgeous car by the way, gorgeous car. And um, so we're going to do with this car. We're going to um, do a classic a, a a a classic build. So basically, so basically like a plain stock color. And the chrome wheels, because actually going to pick. So what I'm going to do with the wheels is I'm going to actually going to um, keep the wheels stock and then paint them chrome. Well, and paint them chrome. Now, as far as the interior goes, we're, everything in the interior is going to be is going to be in is going to be in place too. Or should we do a back seat delete? We're definitely keeping the steering. We're definitely keeping the steering because they speak because it's the fastest arrow of this car. Now, as far as the engine. We're actually gonna do an engine swap on this car, on this car because the real car actually has two engine two engine types, either a, a Mustang Corvette Jet 429 or or a, a four small block 302. But we're gonna go with the uh, Mustang with the uh, Corvette Jet um, engine. So yeah, so let's get thing this thing to the car wash so, so you can so she can take a shower because she needs one. Get that all cleaned up to see to, to reveal so what it really looks. Actually, you know what? I think we might keep this. I think we might keep this black, but we, we're definitely getting we're changing the hood color though. I think we might we might change the um. Actually, you know what? We might actually keep this color. This is a pretty nice color. All right, we're gonna get this to the lift. So yeah, but this is a really gorgeous car. Any car, what any any Mustang or this one in particular, with the uh, with a, like a classic color, with the chrome wheels, is a it look that car looks so gorgeous, so gorgeous. And actually, these cars are actually worth a lot of well, actually they're not worth a lot of money if I'm if I'm mistaken. I gotta look, actually gotta uh, do some research. But yeah, but we're gonna uh, but we're gonna do a completely stock. Well, not completely stock, but we're gonna do some like minor modifications. So what I mean by that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a um a like a, a exhaust system with the exhaust to give it that more like um like to, to give it like like a pretend like it got a a, a tune up basically. So what what I like to do is to start and start off with the um with the chassis first. Okay, that's, that's my least favorite, to, my least part to do on this game. Cause there are so many pieces. So yeah, so the nineteen, so the nineteen sixty nine, nineteen seventy Mustang, was pretty as a gorgeous car, really gorgeous. No matter on the internet, car shows, it it has it all. The it it is beautiful. And usually, and and also this car is by uh, by the way is a manual by the way too as a manual. Like most Mustangs are, most of them are because a lot of. A lot of people who own the Mustang would prefer manual, even though "quote unquote" automatic are, ten are technically faster, but are technically faster because it's automatic. You don't have to do shifting at all, like at all. But in this era, this this speaks uh, this era. This is the peak. Either this or the uh, Mustang Boss Four Twenty Nine. Or the the Mustang Boss 429. I think that's supposed to be the that's what that's supposed to be the quote unquote the Mustang to have because I think that car is worth a lot of money. The the 1969 um Ford Mustang Boss 429. Cause that speaks Mustang. Cause that's cause that's the OG basically. All right. So so like I said, this car is actually a, is a barn find. So therefore. It's a barn find, so we're, so we might get lucky with with um with this. 
So that means this should not take as long. Oh, hopefully it doesn't. So uh, one, so we're just assembling, disassembling the chassis of the car piece by piece. And hopefully that some of these pieces are repairable, which is they are. Because most of the time you can find a car from barn finds, um, they tend to be um, easy to repair. I also got to mention that this car can only be found in three locations. Either a junkyard, barn, or auction. It cannot be found in the saloon. It cannot be found in the saloon. And there's also multiple variants of this car. But this one we're doing the regular one. And the reason for that because... Uh, to give it more, uh, to, for the regular... Oh, let me, hold on, let me back track that. So there's four variants of this car. You can do, you can choose from. You get the standardized one, the ZZ, the 500, the 500, and also you got the 600 Pro which, and the 600 Pro, which tends to be the like the race like the drag race version of the of this car. Most car, yeah, most cars back in the days they used to have drum brakes. Well, I mean, my truck's a drum brakes even though there's no six. Uh, even now, my vehicle or my truck has actually has drum brakes because it's a two because it's a rear drive uh, truck. But we're not talking about the truck. We're talking about a Mustang. So I've been like a Mustang. So I've been like a Mustang since I was five years old, five or six years old. Cause I actually went. Cause I actually literally put it in my uh, biography. Well, not my biography, but we did. Uh, Simon said, and I said, I want a, I want a Mustang a GT. Cause that's the one with, with the V8. Cause that's the, cause that's the one with the V8. Cause nobody don't know the one no freaking EcoBoost or V6. Everyone wants to hear the power of V8. Or the power of the um V eight. All right, now we got the uh the chassis. Uh, now we got the chassis um taken off or disassembled. Now we can take the engine out. Before we take the engine out, before we take the engine, let me check the fluid. There's any uh oil in it. There's a tab bit. A tab bit of oil. So that means you're going to bring the drain right here. And then I was gonna do uh, for this video. I was gonna do the four crown, the four crown Victoria, but actually, but actually hesitate. I actually hesitated, so I decided hesitate to do it. So that's why this car just came up in mind since I did the uh, 2015 Mustang GT. So I'm because there's still are three Mustangs in the game. We got this, the uh, the the Mustang GT, and I also got the Mach One and the Slim Spectre, which we're gonna go do that for. We're gonna eventually do. Eventually, so there's multiple ways you can do with this car. So you can, so you can do a, like a like a classical build or like a stock build or a factory build. What I'm doing, what I'm doing, going for, or I could do a rust or a rust mod with this, or what the uh, rust mod. Because you do a, a rust mod is a rust mod is basically as a as a car. It's like a like, it's like a really old car. Oh. It's like a really old car, like like this, for example. What what the except one more modernized interior and a modernized engine and wheels. That's what a uh, what a rustle mod is. But most of the time, they take a car like from the fifties and then start to mo like to uh, like to modernize it. And I think that's it up oh, for the panels. That's for the fuse box. There we go. So uh, what I like to do is just trip as it's assembled the car entirely, like like the panels and everything, and it be from like straight from the ground up. So like I said, with the engine, we're not going to use this engine. We're actually going to use a different engine. We're actually going to use a different engine. So we're going to go over here and go to every I can over and scroll right here. So, so in this, so in this game, there's only four or five, but we're gonna, but we're gonna use um, the 429, even though the real car has multiple engine types. But on this, in this case, I only have two: either the 420, the Cobra Jet 429, or the four small block 302. But we're gonna use the um, the the Mustang, the four Cobra Jet 429, to give it more power. So in order to do this, I can just tap in forward because this tap in forward. But we're gonna get we're gonna go back to the engine in a second. But right now we're working on the brakes and chassis. 
Oh, let me go go do the wheels. Let me go do the um the wheels. Cause actually likes to start wheels. I want to paint these in chrome. Now as for the tires though, well I I am not sure what to do with the tires yet. I'm still kind of still kind of thinking about what what tire what tires I should do with this car. Yeah, this car's cause uh this car cause um. Has a uh, um, 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 I don't know yet, but it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But it'll come to me. Okay, separate parts. Oh, okay. Man, that that's card gonna look so gorgeous when it's fully rebuilt. And also, this car does have body, has body tuning, uh, tuning, um, tuning um, parts. So basically, if you don't like the old ones, you can actually get the um, body tuning section. So once we get these wheels done, we're going to actually go paint these in chrome. We're going to paint these in chrome because you're going to see why in the, you're going to see why in a minute. Why I'm painting these chrome? Cause nothing really so so sus when I seen a Mustang in this era, um, in the in the seventies or in, the, in early uh, six early six late sixties and early seventies with chrome with chrome wheels. Cause it's so like so manly. Speaks Mustang. Even though in even though in in uh, in in present day. The Mustang still remains, still remains with the V8 because the Camaro and Charger and Challenger doesn't make, because Dodge are not making, because Dodge is not making any more Challengers and Chargers. I mean, you, you can still get them, but however, you're going to have to pay the insane markup price. Now, as for for General Motors, they're not making it, they're not making it the Camaro anymore, the Camaro, because they can also get replaced by another, uh, by another um, high performance electric car, EV. Which people are not a really big fan of of that either. But it's Prost the Ford though. You gotta give Prost the Ford because the must because um they gonna still making V8 for the Mustang, which is for the Mustang, which is that's a plus. Cause a lot of people go, a lot of people wants the V8 wants the doesn't want to doesn't want the GT or the 5.0 go out go out if, out of fashion like the like the um Cam like the Camaro and the Charger and Challenger. Cause uh, a lot of people want to want to want the five zero or or GT. Nobody don't want. No, nobody does not want a freaking um, e, uh, EcoBoost or a V six. But I don't know, cause I don't know. But I don't know, cause due cause due to the fact of the gas prices going up and stuff, the gas prices skyrocketing and stuff, and the VAT, cause you know, because V's are better better enough for drinking gas, but they have a, a, like drinker like, like there's no tomorrow. Because it's a V8, they could bet to go fast. Not true, because my truck is a V8, so and it has a lot of power. So, but we're not. But once again, we're not talking about my trucks. We're talking about the, the Mustang. So yeah, but so yeah, but I've been liking Mustang since I was uh, since I was um, like five or six, and I actually told my dad I actually want to get older. I want a Mustang. But he said no because he thinks it's too fast, which is true. Because Mustangs are fast; it can be fast. But I actually wanted it uh, once as I was my about well, when I was young in fifth grade, so about when I was like so about like ten or eleven or twelve. No, I like nine or ten years old. Uh, all right. Oh, this car's gonna look so good when put together. I can see it now. There we go. I guess while I'm at it, I might as well buy the, um, the parts to this. So we need only two brake pads, hub caps, wheel hub burns, two of these, sway bars, or the sway bar front um, front end link. You're going to need due to suspension. You're going to need two of these. There's no point of adding this. There's no point of getting these because I actually repaired this. So I can take this off the list. Brake drums and the rear shock absorber, and I think that's it for the um, chassis. Oh shoot, I forgot about the steering rods. 
Yeah, I forgot about the tie rods. Let me add that to the list. Did I add the, um, the outer? No, I did not. I couldn't have sworn I did. There we go. The brake helper. There we go. I actually changed the brake helper before in the car before. It's actually, is pretty easy, actually. It's pretty easy. I'm not, I don't feel like telling the whole story how to do it, because it actually is a, is a kind of a, like a long process. Well, not like, like a long process, but it's a lot of, it's a, like, like a lot of steps. But I'm going to just put it briefly. So basically, you got, so basically, you got, um, loosen the tire, loosen the tire, take the tire off, and then screw the bottom, the bottom or top to, um, of the brake caliper, and you have access to the, to the brake pads. And then once you have access to the brake pad, you can take them out and put some new ones in. And it looks like I'm running really low on rubber brushings. I'm brushing bushings. I'm gonna get thirty of these. All right, let's go put the suspension in. That's one, and that's that's two. There we go, and boom! All right, this side is done for now. Now we're going to work on the other side. Alright, there we go. The front axle duster right here. The front wheel hub. The disc. The burn. Brake pads. There we go. And then... So, because we want a good... We want, to, we want this car to have a good steering. We don't want this car rock going over the place. There we go. Sway bar. Front end link. Alright. Front shoulder absorber. And. Oh! Let me do this. Do this. Alright. Looks like the front end of the suspension is done. So now let's work on the back. There we go. Oh, shoot. Looks like walking one was not repaired, so I'm going to add that to the list. The front rear hub. Oh, it turns out I got a lot of those. There we go. One day I might post a guide, I might post a guide how to make, how to make uh, money on this game, because actually it's quite easy, actually. It's quite easy. Because uh, if you want to try to make money, I highly recommend to start to start at the junkyard. First, and then wake your way up to the auction to auction because um, because most of the time when you're starting off, the junkers tend to be more cheaper, tend to be cheap um cheaper, because barn fire because barn fires can be expensive. They can be, and then for auction or and for auctions they can it depends on what car you're trying to get. And for saloon if and then for saloon they're very really expensive because they're brand brand new. So I might post I might I'm explain I'm gonna explain later why I post a why I post a guide. I want to put the guy how to make money in this game. One day. Oh, let me. There we go. Cause we might take a break from this and might might uh, post a guide or some might post a guide. And I got the um, drum break shoe. Break drum. Up. Oh, let me. There we go, you bolt. Then do this. Alright, this side is done. Now we're on this side. And then well, I guess where we added we might as well um get the we work on the uh, get the um, wheels prepped. Fuel tank. And it just so happens not a fuel pump in my inventory. Alright. And the thing that's it for the chest. Oh, let me get back out of this. I think that's it for the chassis. Yep, that is. Now, right now, it's gonna work for the tires. Now, what tires? I was thinking about putting on these right here, the vintage tires right here, to more the tire lettering, or I should put on the race on the vintage race tires. 
Actually, I'm going to put on these. What's the t I just need the tire size. A 215 with 65. We're going to need four of these. A 215 with 65. 215 with a 65. Going to need four of these. If, but before we put the, um, the wheels and the tires, we're going to pay them. Um, we're going to go into the bank and pay these chrome. There you go. Shut the door. And go to the wheels. Right here. Going to put this in chrome. There we go. That's one. That's two. That is number three. And four. There we go. Now let's head back to the shop. Do do do. All right, we're back. All right, now to. Now to put the now it's time to put our shoes on now. Oh look at that! Look how nice that came out. That cam came out. Wow. That looks so beautiful. Now you now you see why now you see why I put these things in Chrome. Cause they look so it looks so nice. All right, there we go. And the last wheel. Wait, I need to balance this one. Cause we don't want this car rocking up. We don't want this car shaking and stuff. The water one. There we go. And the last tire. There we go. All right, now to put the shoes on. Wow, look at that. Oh my god, look how good that looks. Wow. Man, man, back the back, man, back in this era of Mustangs, this got to be the peak of Mustangs. The back in the, um um back in their late night um 60s and 70, early 70s. Like you cannot, you cannot turn, you cannot turn this down. You cannot. All right, now it's just all the full wheels are in place. Now we can just put this car into the ground for now. Look how good that looks. All right, now this works. Time to work on the engine. We're working on the Ford Mustang on the corporate jet. So what I have to do is type in Ford, V8 Ford. All right, so we're going to need we're going to need the engine block, of course. We're going to need the the pump pulley, this the fan, or I just say the Cobra Jet. I spell Cobra. Oh, here it is. All right, so we're going to need this, 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 and this, and two of these. Actually, you know what? I'm with. Actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna uh, put get some chrome of that. Oh, I forgot to get the arms. So V8 forward. There we go. The arms or the arm. All right, there we go. Oh, and the crankshaft. I'm gonna need a crankshaft, the power steering pump, the ignition coil, and the oil filter. Um, we're gonna need the pistons. Best ring, we're gonna need eight of these, because it is a V8. There we go. Oh, an alternator. Uh, we're gonna need this one right here. And while we add it, we might as well get spark we might get um, the ignition core right here up. Oh, might as well get the ignition core right here. And do I need the wiring? Okay, what type of wiring are yeah, I get the wiring. Um, get the spark plugs too while you at it, and the starter because this thing, the car did not come with a starter, and the fuse box. There we go. What's the cap? There we go. And I think that's it because I already got another battery. All right. 
There we go. Oh, crank. Let me get the uh, the crankshaft. Crankshaft. The power string pump. The ignition. Oh wait, I got the ignition coil already, so I get to craft that's off the list. And the uh, and the camshaft. There we go. Ignition coil. The power string pump. Oh, I forgot to get the distributor. The um distributor. So. There's the cap and then the gear cam gear. There we go. The chain the timing chain. There we go. The timing cover. And then once we do that, now we can add in the pistons now. That's one. Two, three, um, four. Did they get the engine? No. It. Okay, Joey. If you're gonna, if you're gonna type in the uh, forward, if you're gonna type, okay, this is the third time you typed this in. Oh, okay. Read it forward. You forgot to get the engine heads. There we go. All right. Oh, the valve pressure. Rod. This is not the fun part about this. Here comes not the fun part. It's putting these in. This and the uh, rocker arms. The cover jet. Going to need two of these to get more. Like I said, to give them like more. They got it. Give her ten. Like got it. It gives a um exhaust system kit. Our tune up. Put the spark plugs in. Got the fuel filter. There we go. We're gonna need 16 va um, valve push rods, 16 of these, and also 16 of uh, rocker arms. These. We're gonna need 16 of these. There we go. That's one, two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, there we go. <coughs> there we go. Three, four, Five, six, all right, two more, seven, and eight. All right, this side is done. This side is done. Now some work on the other side. There we go. All right. Oh man, this car, uh, this, this car looks so good once it's put together. Alright, the end manifold. We need the car we need the carburetor. So this is two drafts, isn't it? Yep, four barrel oh that's for the GT four the GT um forty. The four GT um forty, so this is the four barrel. There we go. Won't set there for now, but right now we're working on the on the not the phone part. We're putting these valve push rods in. Sixteen. We gotta do this. Um, I, I don't know because this requires sixteen. So basically, you gotta do this. Um, eight because eight plus eight equals sixteen. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this part can be re can be uh, tiring, it's especially it can be tiring. This is my least favorite part about these VAs, though. This one in particular, this one in particular, is putting these these valve push rods in one by one by one, and it's probably might be a little bit more difficult, and probably a, bit, a lot difficult in real life. All right, spark plug. There we go.
All right, the engines are done. Let me get a a rotor cap, a a rotor distributor. There we go. Clip B's. Going to need two of those. Um, if I can get this angle, there we go. Oh, let me back out of this. Should I paint the wires? No, I'm gonna leave them black. I'm gonna leave them black. There we go. Put the water pump in. The bomb pump. Oh, I already brought the water pump pulleys, so I just place them right here. But I don't have the crankshaft pulley, though. There we go. Alright, I did brought the super team belts. Yes, I did. Yes, sir. Nice. All right, now I'm trying to flip it over. And now I'm trying to flip it over on this side so I can work on the rock. Oh, I forgot to get raw caps and the cranks of barren caps. So we're going to need eight of these, eight of these, and we're going to need three of these. There we go. That's one. That's two. This is three. Mm hmm All right. Loving the way how this engine is turning out. Did it about the oil pan? I, I got, um, hopefully I brought the oil pan. There we go. Last one. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. All right, now it's time to uh, do the um, gears now. There's no point buying the clutch plate because that can be because it's repairable. So the flywheel. And the crushed pressure plate um, pressure cannot be repaired, and so the same thing as for the uh, crush relief burn. All right, then. Oh, hold up. No, it's not. There we go. All right, now the engine is full. Is, is fully completed. There we go. Now to go put this into the car. Boom. Look at that. All right. Now I can work on the engine bay. Might as well, because we're already here. Oh, oh, turns out we, turns out we repaired it already. This, okay, I didn't think so. This car did not come in with a brake servo. So we're going to need to buy another one. There we go. And we're going to need another radiator, reservoir tanks. There we go. Power steering. There we go. Power steering. I could have sworn about the radio see. I guess not. Alright. One, two, three, four. Do this. Going to need. Do this. Alright. Alright, we're going to fuse box. The fuse stuff A. There we go. Put the cap on. Boom. There we go. Not the same. We're going to pull it full. We're going to pull it full a little bit later on, but right now we're just working on the car. Oh, I forgot to repair the panels. I think we might keep this car black. Well, except for the hood. Why does my keep paint this black? I don't know, cause this car look do look nice and black. Either black or red. Or probably might be blue. Alright.
chrome mirrors we're going to Uh, first, before I, um, we go to the lift, I'm going to put in, well, use the welding kit. Oh, man. This car looks so nice. All right. Transmission, right here. You know, it's called a gearbox, but I like to call it, I like to call it transmission, because I'm so used to that. Camshaft, I'm not camshaft, driving shaft. Because this car did not come with one. There we go. All right. Gonna need front exhaust, middle muffler, and then the rear muffler. I had a thing I got, I think I about to sneeze, but don't want to come out. Gonna need two of these middle muffler and the rear. There we go. All right. Like, look at the exhaust system is done. Oh no, but look at that from this view. Look at that. Oh. All right. Now, since everything is done, nice and now work on the interior and glass. I think we. I think we might. I think we're going to do a backseat delete. I just love how the rear mirror just float is just floating right there. So we're gonna need the glass because everything else was repairable. I don't know why about that twice. Gonna need the tail lights, the headlights, and the rear and the rear window. Wait, did I buy that? Oh yes, I did. The trunk, the bumper. The tail lights. All right, that's done. There we go. That's where interior goes. We're gonna do a back. We're gonna do a backseat delete. Um. Camera three. There we go. Now I think that's it. Let's check on. Let's check on the car status. No, it's not. Or what are we missing? Oh, I forgot to work on this. This release spring and the plates. I'm gonna put the Georgia plate. There we go. Oh, oh, I got this stupid, I got the equipment in here. There we go. We got, we forgot to work on the U-bow joint on this side. On, on this side. Because otherwise, because this car would have been rocking all over the place. Or no, I would be slant. Could be tilted. It would be tilted. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. The reason why the interior is eighty percent because we did that because there's, uh, there's no back seat. So that means this is a two seater. All right, let's head to the test path. Get the wheels adjusted, aligned. There we go. All right. Should we do with the headlights too? Oh, it's already. In. There we go. All right. All right. Let's go get this car repainted. All right, so this car does have liveries, and honestly, though, I'm not a real big fan of, of this of the liveries, because I did this car, I did this car, um, 
a long time ago when I first started this channel, but it had no commenter. It had no commenter, and I fast forwarded it. But here's the livery option. This is option one. Well, two, because it's actually a darker color. Let me put it in white so you can see the. Oh! Well, we'll, uh, we'll get the double line with the fast pack logo inside of it, or it can do. or none. Or none. So, but we're gonna do a solid color. We're gonna do a solid color. So we're probably gonna do either a metallic red, a metallic red, or a met uh, solid black. I think we might do. We're gonna do metallic red. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I call a Mustang. That's what I call a Mustang. Look at that. All right, now it's time to go to the photo shoot. All right, here she is. We got this legendary barn find Salim fastback. Slimy spare tree fastback. Came from a barn. Now look. Now look at it now. Like she came straight from a factory. Was a look underneath that hood. I know they put any fluids in it. I didn't play any fluids. I didn't have time to do it. But yeah. But here's the engine. The, the Cobra Jet 429. 429 engine. Let's get a look at the interior. Yeah. Look at that. Speak. Look at this. Yep. L really love the interior. I like to really love the interior of this car. I, I actually like this a lot. I think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh man. I kinda I kinda wanna I kinda wanna keep it actually. So yeah, so so yeah, there you have it. Focus. So yeah, there you have it. We we uh we saw this car. It came straight from the barn. Same, it was sitting and sitting in the left to rock, but nope, not today. She she was in good hands, and now look at her now and former glories. So yeah, so let me know down, down in the comments of what car, what other Ford I should do next. Cause there's only twelve forwards in this game. It is only twelve forwards in this game. and this game game. So let me know down in the comments of what what another four I should do. Leave a like, subscribing to the channel. It may actually help help the channel grow. Cause, cause if it, if it can reach up to a hundred a hundred subscribers, I might go I might go live. Of any game of any game of your of you guys' choice. Thank you and have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.